we woke up, Byron's like, the internet's out or whatever. Like, there's an outage. So he restarted the router, nothing. Restarted it again. Now he's like, we might not have internet today, which means we might not be able to play Sims today. All right, it looks like it might be working. Byron's testing it out. We're good. We're good? We better have Still Sims today. Sims, no! Yeah, yeah, sorry. Happy Friday, guys. I do not remember the last time that we vlogged on a Friday. We're here today to celebrate our 17th anniversary for dating. It was actually yesterday, but Byron had to work yesterday. In the morning, he surprised me with some McDonald's. We're gonna actually celebrate today. We're gonna buy a new expansion for our Sims. We're gonna get the college one, the university one. The first set of kids are about to be like almost elders themselves. So we decided that the next generation, we're gonna let them kind of enjoy their youth a little bit. So we decided that we're gonna send the, the two girls to college. Cause we're like, oh, that'd be kind of neat. Super excited. This is what they mean when they say you have too many pots sizzling. <laughs> you love me for 17 years. No, 17, 2003. Keep thinking of 2002. I'm off by one year. Oh my god. He's so terrible. Now for the grand experiment. This is the look I'm going for. It's the great Kelly Clarkson. Did you laugh at the great Kelly Clarkson? No, I didn't laugh at that just because it's going to be fun. That's the look I'm going for, but because it's my first time, I'm not going to go all the way up. Where is it? Like normally like right here? Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to go up that high. I'm going to probably just go to like right, like right above my eye level. Um, and then after maybe a couple days, if I really like it, maybe we'll go all the way up. I just want to try it out and I want to make sure that I'm gonna have enough hair to cover it if I don't like it. And also, I really don't want to tell my mom, so. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, that was me, that was me. You know, I get the chills on my neck. Oh, God. As they said in that one YouTube video that we watched, once you cut this hair, it's over then. Like, you have to. Yeah. Watch your ear, don't worry. I see your ear. I regret it already. Oh, my God, I feel it. There you go. Oh, my yeah, it's a, it's a nine. Why? What's a nine? Nine's a little too low. Oh god! Well, that's why I did the back. The back's easily hidden by your hair. That looks a lot better. Looks a lot more even too. Come on, Oh, I hate it. Oh no! Yeah, that looks, that looks a, a lot, lot better. A lot better. All right, so it's only been like thirty minutes, and I've already decided that I'm going to have to go the rest of the way, at least more up. This thing bothers me. Y'all see the braid? It's bothering me. But I like feeling it. Yeah, how does that feel? It's, it's weird. cool. Do you want to go feel it? <laughs> when I was a kid and I used to do the underneath, so I used to have shorter hair. Oh my god, when it would start growing back, I'd keep playing with it. Oh yeah, that's weird. Isn't it cool? Yeah, it's pretty cool though. I did kind of jack me up in the back though, right? I got a little Why you have to point that part out? Like a right here somewhere if I'm on film. So Byron is about to buy the university package. Me and Byron are in our, our last days in the Sims world. I will say that we've been playing since May and we've never been elders before. Yeah. We've always stopped when our <laughs> oldest kids get to like teenage and we just stop. We never actually had a kid get to adulthood and move out and have two different homes and stuff like that to manage. It's because I used to overload the family and then Byron would get tired of playing and I don't know, nowadays it just seems like you make more storylines like, oh, this kid's more, gonna... Yeah. Yeah, this, this one's gonna go into the entertainment world. This one's gonna go here. And then when we heard about the college thing, I was like, oh, that'd be perfect. So we decided as our anniversary gift, we were gonna jointly buy that instead of getting each other something. Cause- Oh, well, you're still getting me something though, right? You have a birthday on Thursday. I want two gifts. No. We had our, I'm calling it our final Thanksgiving. I don't know if we'll actually make it to another Thanksgiving. We might, might not. Byron locked himself outside. Yes, I did. I put the refrigerator outside. So no one goes to fix their own meal. And when Turk's done, I'm gonna put the turkey outside so no one can eat the turkey until the rice here. Where's the food? Did y'all get rid of the refrigerator? Are y'all in trouble financially? We aged up Johanna. Alright, Raven Simone. And we aged up Jensen. Uh-oh. Oh. See this kid? So you guys, I asked Byron a question the other day. And I have Tim Tam here now to interview you. I was saying, you know, since dogs don't give kisses, they lick. When I kiss him, like, is he like, what are you doing? So that how you show me love? Why aren't you looking at me? I look you. Right, Timmy? <laughs> <laughs> While Byron's taking care of this family and they're applying for college. I 
don't know if we ever told you guys that Jeffrey hit on Unison at the twins' birthday. So him and Madison have kind of had like this falling out, but they're still together. But then we were like, what if she's like really mad and wants to talk to somebody else? And then Justin died. He was our neighbor. He used to actually come over and talk to me while Byron was at work. But then he died, which was sad because he was like the first in like our group to like die. Madison had been friends with his daughter Evie and she also has a brother named Pierce so they all went over there to mourn and one thing led to another and now they're boyfriend and girlfriend even though she is still married to Jeffrey. But we're like, we'll let the girls, we'll do our final Christmas, let them get into college and then she'll move out. So just as the day was progressing, she hit Pierce up and he was like, hey, let's go to the gym. Oh, all right. Her sister-in-law is right over there. Y'all, this is the weirdest. It is just yep. so weird. He just, he just realized he saw someone naked. He also saw someone naked. This so is... Everybody in this gym is not doing a great job. Okay, guys, we finally had our first successful mating. Natalie and Charlie's cat. Dad, a little kitten. All right, guys, so this is Jensen. All grown up. Still looks like Mr. Disick. They like to sit on our counters. It upsets Byron when he comes over so much. We didn't realize when we picked out his everyday outfit. He looks a little bit like Five from the Umbrella Academy. Oh, oh! Just like Ralphie. Yes. Aww. Hey, Bo. Aww. Aww. Little alley cat. Y'all, so Pierce texts Madison and was like, Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. You've been on my mind. Can I see you? So we were like, oh, well, she's about to play with Marvel and enjoy, you know, some time at her parents' house. You can't really write back and be like, oh, I'll see you later. Well, Pierce just showed up at her parents' house. Yep, there he is, hanging out with Spiders and Tim Tam. And... What, is, what is going on? He's introducing himself to the family like he's just one. The other day, we were doing Johanna and Jensen's birthdays. Johanna lives at home with grandma and grandpa. So we had their birth birthday party there. Well, you guys know Natalie lives in that tiny home. So we were like, oh, well, let's have their party there too. We go over there and Natalie starts trying to bake a cake. And at first, Unison's like, that's rude. So we were like, oh, maybe, maybe like Jeffrey hit on her again, yeah, exactly. like something weird. But then all of a sudden, I said it, I think Byron said it, like everyone was yelling at her, like it's rude. So we reloaded the game because we were like, maybe something just messed up. Did it again, same issue. And it kicked, uh, kicked us out of house. Yes, and then it kicked us out. Mid-birthday party. Felt so bad for Jensen, he had to have his birthday in a tiny home. But we had to go outside though, so I kind of like that a little bit better. Mr. Cool's here. Yeah, Mr. Cool. <laughs> ah, this kid. Oh, he already grabbed a slice of the cake. I forgot to move the cake. See, Jeffrey, that is why we're leaving you. Oh, look at Pierce. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> look at Mr. Cool. Mr. Cool says, tables don't apply to me. If I go tell her to say hi to him, she's probably going to try to kiss him. <laughs> yeah, she will. So I'm like, I don't know if I should. Or... I don't know. Jeez. Oh, what happened? Oh! Apparently he didn't care enough to go over there and do anything about it. Nope. Oh, you're so confident. Dude. He don't care. He doesn't care. He's been checked out his marriage a long time ago. Y'all, do y'all see Byron's cat the top hat? Yeah. When you tell a ticket the cat to do something, the picture actually has a top hat on it too. You're so weird. Yeah. Whenever you get a cat in real life. We're not putting a top hat on the cat. You guys, it's Christmas and the girls got their assistance letters. God, yeah, she's been tense since the beginning. Alright, so the guy in uh, above. So, uh, Harmony was not accepted for any of the Zoom to read this school. In this school, she would. Oh. Uh, Y'all, Pierce just showed up for Christmas. And we haven't even started Christmas yet. Sparkers is like, who is this man on my front doorstep? He really wants some Madison in his life. But, uh, sorry, son. I'm not up for this whole thank you, thank you. Look, first your dad tried picking up my wife. And now you're trying to pick up my daughter? This ain't working, sir. Natalie finally finished the the three generationals. Me, Reed, and Marvel. Me, uh, Reed, and Marvel. And, and then this was so hard because it was at Natalie's house. Yeah, we tried. Okay. With the cat on the counter. Look at the cat. Yes. What is it? <laughs> resume turkey dinner and she went to eat. Hey, it's grandma's last Christmas. Leave her alone. All right, Grandma. 
Our Christmases and Thanksgivings are getting so much better. They used to be horrible at the beginning. Santa! All right, y'all, I had to move to on my phone because my camera died as soon as Santa walked in. And no Christmas is complete without Santa. We're actually going to uh, drive around a little bit. I haven't really seen the town at night. I don't think it's gonna come out on the camera, but it is beautiful sunset on the water. I think we've never crossed this bridge, I don't think, at sunset. Darren says that I need to drive at some point, cause- I was like, I can't remember the last time he drove. I'm like, I hope I you know either. how to drive still. So. Cause I didn't even drive before all of this, so I definitely haven't driven since all of this. I used to drive before, at least the whole point next day. Like, that is true, that. that is true. I used to actually go out during the week. I thought of something else that I really miss and I didn't really think about it. Bookstores. Mm. I haven't been yeah. to a bookstore I think since Christmas. Yeah, yeah. The ad's gonna be rough because I used to love going in there at Christmas time, getting mm -hmm. our Starbucks, like Barnes and Nobles. When we started this, we had about 15 minutes to get the food. Um, so we decided to come and just drive by the mall. This place is creepy. They didn't even bother to turn on the outside parking lights because there's no point, right? Mm, it's, it's pretty much dead. We're at Outback. Trunk is open, waiting for our food. Super excited, got like five minutes though. All right guys, here is the food. I order mine rare because I know it's gonna go over a little bit. So it's kind of more medium rare, but that's perfect. Got our blooming onion, Byron steak, salad, Beauty and the Beast puzzle that we're almost done with. Dinner was good. Byron steak was a little bit overcooked. A little bit. It was like. It was well done. But very well honestly, done. Honestly, like because the mashed potatoes was so nice, mixing it in, it was fine. And the steak was well seasoned. It just wasn't juicy. But the mashed potatoes all set the juiciness. But I am gonna plan to send a picture to them like, hey, I mean, come on. I have, that's a big oversight. Yeah, I mean, I get that we're still doing the curbside when you're allowed to go back into the restaurant, so it's probably where their focus is, but we still did pay for these meals. We thought Santa left at the end of our party. He's still here. Everybody else is going to bed. Y'all, really Santa went upstairs. Santa's never gone upstairs. He's never been here. It must be his last stop for the night. Um, Papa Santa's not leaving. He's in a forever part of the house, though. Is he just sitting there? He's been moving for a while. Okay, now he's tired, so now he's like, I guess I'll go home. Let me make sure. So I see him nap on our couch. Oh, God. That'd be good. Now he left. Jeffrey's over here, sad because he was cheated on. She didn't cheat on him. He, she just blew a kiss at him. One of her and Pierce are like old friends. He lost his dad. So, I know someone that lost their family member. I think kiss them. No. Apparently, Pierce is like moving in in the house. He just sent Harmony some money. Look, she's a college student. She's going to need some money. So, oh, she has a $100 uh, scholarship. Nice. She did get a scholarship. Good. Okay, good. They both did. We're together. She couldn't have changed <laughs> Nope. We're at our first college party. Yeah, well, somebody's going streaking. <laughs> there goes another one. <laughs> For $45. All right, first morning. Byron's checking the social events. There are none. Yeah, this is actually really complex, actually. I've been very pleased with it so far. Like, we checked the organizations, and we were just at the whole spirit squad thing. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, every Friday's a soccer game. Oh, let's go to, even though it's a rabbit hole that they just disappear for a while, but it's actually kind of neat. And then when we were, that was a true college thing that just happened this morning. The two sisters were going to go to the cafeteria. All of a sudden we showed up and it was a third person who was at the place. Like, hey, I saw you guys heading <laughs> out. Where are we going? I'm like, oh yeah, that's a college thing right there. What is that going on here? Now her aunt came to check it on her. But my sister's a little drunk over here. Let's see your favorite grandparent for a bit. Oh! She's drunk though. <laughs> Poor Grandpa! She got to say sorry I'm busy. That doesn't mean Grandpa gonna die soon. No, she gotta go see Grandpa. Y'all, so she is passed out on the couch. And right before she passed out, she burped right in her grandfather's face. And he was like, oh. Yeah, the mascot's here. She tried to take a selfie for him. Oh, said no. Aww. Why is Reed here? Is he a friend of friend? Oh, there's the other mascot. It was our mascot. They're fighting each other. Oh. No. <laughs> How far is that they were fighting? They took a picture together. Oh, so they'll take pictures with him, but not with actual students? This girl still drinking. <laughs> oh, wow, this is pretty cool. This is really neat. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are off badly. Woo! That was really
really cool. We actually got to do New Year's. Aww. Why would she be upstairs? What's uh, upstairs? Uh, oh, ping pong. Oh, God. Is she playing a juice pong, man? She loves a juice pong. That's her thing. She likes she to walk. It is about 1.30. Uh, we just got done playing The Sims. I really like the college life. It is really cool. I'm glad they're having fun because their parents' life is about to go. Anyways, we'll see you guys on Thursday for Byron's birthday. This week, we are finishing our Marvel movies. Sadly, we have to start with Black Panther. And as all y'all know, a week ago, Chadwick passed on. And it, oh, Byron read it. And I was like, no, no, I gotta look at TMZ. I gotta look at TMZ. And there it was. And I was just like, oh, just so sad. He was such a great actor. It seems like such a great guy in real life. Yeah, so it's gonna be hard watching that movie. And the part of Infinity War where he faints. It's come, this is no place to die here. <laughs> this is no place to die. I'm like, oh God, that was always such a sad part. See you guys on Thursday. I hope everyone has a great rest of the weekend and a great week ahead. Night, guys.